Hi guys, it's Ben here, back with a preview of Liverpool versus Spartak Moscow in the Champions League. I've been away in Germany for a few days watching some football out there, but I have seen Brighton versus Liverpool, so I'll just touch on that quickly as there was no review of that because I was away. Wow, what a performance, what a win. Five goals away at Brighton, only Man City have beaten them at the Amex this season and we've just gone there and done that to them. Some fantastic goals. Obviously, great to see Bobby Firmino get back on the score sheet. Salah played really well without scoring, which proves there's much more to his game than just getting on the end of chances. Coutinho is absolutely magic. Good to see us score from a set piece again with Emery Chan. It's a shame not to get a clean sheet, but with that makeshift defensive, Chan, Lovren and Vinaldon, I mean, fair play to us for keeping them you know, restricted to just that dodgy penalty goal. I thought Trent played very well. Robertson did okay. Uh, the midfield was, was fine. Um, brilliant. Great, great win. Feeling very positive about our chances this season as far as top four is concerned. And I'm buzzing going into this Spartak Moscow game. And to be honest with you, I don't see a way we don't qualify for the last 16 of the Champions League. Uh, we've got players coming back from injury. We are. The momentum is just unfathomable. We're scoring goals for fun. Uh, it's going to require some real nerves and tension and just real bottle job performance really for us not to win this. I know Spartak Moscow are going to be going for it. They need to win themselves if they want to qualify ahead of Sevilla who play Maribor and they need to you know, get something against them for them to qualify. So Sevilla, Moscow aren't going to be sitting back I would imagine. They're going to want to stay in the game. They're not going to want to commit themselves too much too early on but I think they're going to want to go for it which means there should be some space in behind and I know we've got Everton on Sunday so we may want to rest one or two but it's not really the time to do that as this is obviously the make or break game as far as European football is concerned this season. Everton will take care of itself at the time, you can maybe rest someone against West Brom, you know, we're going to be rotating in the next few weeks anyway but this is a game where we need to be playing sort of 9 out of 11 of our best players. Uh, of those available, you know, the front three has to be Mane, Firmino and Salah. Bring them off at half time if you need to. We, we can draw and still go through. Um, but just don't be don't be resting one or two of those front three when we know that they're just going to win us the game by themselves. Same with Coutinho. Uh, do what you want with Henderson, Van Adam and Chan in midfield. You can rest a couple of those if you need to. But we just need to score some goals. We need to get two or three goals, uh, you know, past them. And then that's pretty much job done. <laughs> well, it should be anyway. As far as team news is concerned, obviously Carius uh, will start this one. Um, Gomez is back, so I imagine he's going to play it right back instead of Trent, who played at the weekend. And then Clavin's also back, so he should partner Lovren in central defence. And then Moreno will come back in for Robertson at left back. And then in the midfield, I think we'll probably go with Jordan Henderson. I think Klopp wants his captain involved here. And then I think probably Genie Vinaldum and Philippe Coutinho. And then we have to go with the Mane for me and Salah front three. There's goals galore in there. I think we're going to win the game comfortably, I think. 4-1 probably. Um, Spots at Moscow have had some good results in this competition this season. They beat Sevilla 5-1 at home. They haven't been bad on the road in terms of them shipped many goals. I think they suffered a narrow 2-1 defeat in Seville, which is obviously respectable. They couldn't beat Maribor home or away, so I mean, the way we thumped Maribor, you'd expect us to have enough about us to put away Spartak Moscow. In the return leg, uh, it was all us. It was all us. They scored a free kick, which Karius should have saved. I'm not convinced it was a free kick in the first place. A bit of a mad moment from Emery Chan. We just weren't in great form back then. We weren't firing like we are now. Salah wasn't quite in the run of form he was. Mane was sort of in and out of, of, of game time with that suspension against Man City and the injury has come since. Now he's starting to hit form. Coutinho's really starting to hit form. Firmino's in the goals again. So there's n there's never been a more confident Liverpool fan going into a game than me. I know I can be complacent and I know a lot of you are going to put in the comments because sometimes we can be complacent when we come up against less opposition. But I'm very confident here. I think we're going to put four past them. I think we're going to breeze into the last 16 of the Champions League just like all the other English teams have done. And then it's just about... Who finishes second in their groups, so then we can start to piece together who we might get. I mean, obviously, there's still the potential of getting, I mean, it's half time in the Tuesday games now, as I, as I speak, so there's still potential of getting Bayern. I think Real Madrid could still finish second. Um, there's not there's going to be a, a number of hard games in there. I think Juventus probably uh, will finish second, so by no means uh, a gimme in the last 16 should be finished top, but let's worry about that once we get to it. First of all, it's Spartak Moscow at home. I know Quincy Promise is back for them. He's obviously going to be a threat, probably their best player. But other than that, I'm just not concerned. Um, I think the odds are 1 to 40 for us to win or draw, so basically 1 to 40 for us to qualify, 1 to 5 for us to win, you know, to, to, and that'll result in us topping the group. So I'm in a very good place. Um, Man City are running away with the title, but other than that, we should still be looking to win competitions this year. And look, the Champions League is, is the next hardest after Premier League. 
and you know you're coming up against Real Madrid, PSG, Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Juventus, and what have you. But why not give it a go? Especially if there's loads of English teams left in it. Um, why, there's no reason why we can't be among among the teams that are actually going to go for this and win it. I know Man City will feel they have got enough to win it. Uh, United might feel the same. Spurs have done very well so far. Chelsea have obviously won this competition uh, five years ago. So every team has reason to believe that they can go far. I don't see any reason why we can. I know we we struggled in Seville with that with that late sort of flurry from them. Uh, I know we've sort of dropped silly points against Spartak Moscow already this season, but. No one's beaten us. No one's beaten us in Europe this season. And with our firepower up front, it's just going to come down to whether we can defend against the best sides. They will punish us if we make mistakes. But if we don't make mistakes, and if we're as clinical as we can be going forward, then we can go really far in this competition. But it all starts against Spartak Moscow. I'm predicting a 4-1 win. Please leave your predictions in the comment section below in terms of team selection, in terms of scoreline. Uh, and in terms of goal scorers and in the meantime please do subscribe if you're new and follow my other socials too as Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook and of course check out Love Follow Conquer this is a Love Follow Conquer t-shirt the, the most solid design and the new balance mock-up fantastic t-shirt but I'll put the link in the description for that and I'll see you next time